Hello, this is Tom from Never Center, and in this video I'm going to show you our neat new feature that we've added in CameraBag 2024.1. This is both CameraBag Photo and CameraBag Pro, and uh, it's this new button here that says AI Upscale 4X, and you can imagine what that does, which is it will take a low resolution image, and using the magic of AI it will upscale it so that it uh, kind of magically adds resolution. So I've got the same photo loaded in two different tabs here, just so you can see for comparison what happens here. Um, if I went to save one of these photos, you can see the original image is only uh, 853 by 1280. Not a lot of resolution, as you can see when you get like close in on the side, you can see pixels, and uh, it's not the kind of thing uh, that you can do much with other than a small web image. So, um, using the magic of AI, we can add resolution by simply clicking this button right here. And then a little uh, window pops up while it's processing. And then you'll see very quickly um, that uh, resolution has been magically added. And you can see even in the hairs um, that they look like natural hair. And uh, where you can compare over here, a lot of the artifacts from like a JPEG image compression get removed. It's quite magical and as you can see quite fast. And there's a couple of really neat things about this in uh, camera bag. Um, one is that this all happens locally on your computer. So it's not uploading it. Um, there's no subscription or anything. You can just upscale as much as you want whenever you want. All runs on your computer. It runs fast and it does a really beautiful job. So um, yeah, like you can see, it's, it's pretty magical what this can do. Um, let's try some other photos to give you a, a few more examples. Uh, if I just go into the file browser here. Um, one uh, place where you'll frequently use it, again, I'll, I'll load the same image in both tabs. So this image right here, if I hit Command-I, it's got a um, decent resolution for the full image, 2,000 by 3,000. But say you want to like, make a crop of this. So maybe I just want this cup of tea close up. Just the hands in the cup of tea. So now that I've made this crop, um, if I go to save it, you'll see it's 16 or 1363 by 1030. Not a lot of resolution. As soon as you like zoom in a little bit, you can start to see pixels pretty quickly here. So let's, um, let's zoom in on the original on both of these. So these are the same resolution here. Um, and now I'll hit AI upscale. Uh, and by the way, um, one note is that uh, it's a four times upscale. That means in each dimension of the image, it will be four times the resolution. So if your starting image is say 1000 by 1000, then the resulting upscaled image will be 4000 by 4000, which is actually 16 times as many pixels, but it's four times each dimension. So um, this one again, it's starting about a thousand pixels tall. So the ending uh, image will be about 4,000 pixels tall and the width will be five or 6,000. So, um, and if you do this upscaling on larger images, obviously that's gonna take more processing time. But um, we've got this crop here. So now we'll hit our AI upscale button and you can cancel if, if it's taking a long time and you wanna bail on something. But you can see very quickly there, again, it's just kind of magical, the, uh, the extra resolution that this is able to um, infer from that image. You look at things like details like the, the rim on this teacup, um, just how much, you know, how good of a job it does smoothing that. Or even you can see just this little dot right here. You can see how pixely that is in the original. So uh, quite magical and quite handy for cropping because now um, I've got this, this you know small crop from my original image, but I can save this out now as, yeah, 5,400 by 4,100 uh, pixel image, which is very cool. Um, this also works, it works on lots of different kinds of images. So let's, uh, using our file browser, open this. Uh, it's like an anime still frame. So this is not a photo, it's like an illustration. Um, and we'll try our magic AI tool on this. Um, hit the AI upscale button and we'll watch it on the left as it uh, applies. 
boom. Um, again, just like you can see, it took out a lot of the JPEG noise from the compression in addition to just adding nice smooth um, uh, lines where they're drawn in this illustration. So uh, works great on that. Um, let's try one more example. Uh, let's use this photo. All right, so on this one, I'm going to show a few things. Um, first of all, let's let's get a close crop in here so that the processing goes fast and so that we can see some details. Um, let me just straighten this a little bit. All right, see that I wanted to get you know a close up crop of of this tower and this clock. Um, let's zoom in on both of these. And the ultimate resolution is the same on these at this point. And then on our cropped one, I'm going to hit the AI upscale button and it will process. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you see in like the numbers on this clock, um, you know, dramatically more resolution. Um, really neat. But um, one thing that you'll notice in a lot of photos is that you can kind of in different parts of your photos, for example, up here at the, the top of this tower, um, sometimes the AI up can, upscaling can be a little bit overly smooth. And so um, while it is sharper and it doesn't have the pixely, you know, edges of this right here, sometimes it can look a little bit painted, a little bit overly, um, overly smoothed, basically. Um, but since we're in camera bag, we've got lots of tools to uh, handle stuff like that. And a few things that can be handy just when you're doing upscaling like this are um, sharpen and grain. So if I add a sharpen filter to this one on the left, you can see even just doing that um, adds back in some of that detail uh, that makes it look a little less sort of AI upscaled. And then um, on top of that, you can add something like grain maybe you can tone it down or turn it up a little bit uh, play with the scale and the uniformity till you find something that looks nice but as i toggle this on the left here my effects off and on um, if you're able to see if you've got video resolution uh, high enough on here um, those two things can add some naturalness back into this so that it doesn't look artificially upscaled and then uh, especially at you know medium zoom levels it can look really natural and nice still. Uh, and then I've got this photo that's, you know, this tight crop that's now a 6,000 by 5,000 uh, image over here. Um, so let me think if there's anything else that I wanted to say about this. Um, it's just uh, we, we really, you know, most of the, the upscaling market right now is websites where you upload a photo and you have to buy a subscription and you get like, you know, 50 upscales for $10 or whatever. Um, and just to drive home the point with camera bag, this is all running on your computer. So we don't have to host this on any servers. We're not paying any costs for that. So you don't have to either. So you just buy a camera bag and then you can upscale as many images as you want to. Um, and like you can see, it can run quite fast. This is, uh, this video is being recorded on a MacBook Air. In fact, um, the, it is the new M, m2 macbook air but still it's not like a, a high-end computer um and it it handled these quite smoothly so um give it a shot and we hope that you'll love it and we think it's great and um we'll keep trying to improve it uh ai algorithms are improving all the time so um you know as we uh work on better models that uh can handle different situations you know, trained on different data and as, as new models, uh, architecture, AI, deep learning architecture comes about, um, this will be able to improve over time and get better and better. So thanks for watching. Enjoy.